hello friends today in this tutorial i will be rendering out a pdf document inside javascript with the help of pdf js library so this is a sample application we will be rendering out a pdf like this so let's start building this application from scratch so i will delete all the code so first of all write a very basic html5 document boilerplate so just give it a title pdf js render pdf in canvas and inside the body we will have a canvas tag and we will be giving an id to it of my underscore canvas and now in order to accomplish this task we will be including the pdf js cdn so cdn stands for content delivery network pdf js library you can just grab this min.js copy the script tag and just after the body you need to write script and source will be equal to this link here that's it now we have successfully loaded this library now we just need to write the custom javascript code and this will be pdf j pdf js library and there is a method inside this which is get document and inside this we will pass the document which is there inside our current directory which is uh, output.pdf and this returns a promise we can just handle this by dot then so this returns a document so this is an arrow function like this and now we can just console log how many pages are there so we can just say the document contains and then plus doc dot underscore pdf info and get pages so this is a I think that this is a property that much of pages like this and now if I reload the application if I right click inspect element if I refresh it so it is saying to me that it contains undefined pages let me just see the correct code it is property oh sorry num pages num pages so just write here num pages and now if you reload the application you will see that the document contains two pages because in the pdf document it contains two pages so here you can just print out how many pages are contained inside pdf document and after that we can just uh, open a specific page by calling this uh, doc dot uh, get page and we will open the first page so indexing start from zero so this returns a promise again and this ret now returns a page so like this this is the arrow function and first of all we will be targeting the canvas on which we need to render out this pdf document so this will be document dot get element by id and inside the id we will give the id of the pdf document which is uh, my canvas like this and also now we also need to get the context so context will be equal to canvas dot get context and we will get the 2d context like this 2d and also we need to get the viewport so viewport we can get it by page dot get viewport this is a method and here we also need to pass a page number which is 0 after getting the viewport we can set the canvas width like this canvas dot width is equal to viewport dot width and canvas dot height is equal to viewport dot height like this and now we can just render out the document like this page dot render method with the help of this render method and we need to pass two things here which first is the context canvas context is equal to the context here like this and the second is a viewport so viewport will be equal to the viewport like this just put a comma here and now if I refresh it your application so it is saying to me that invalid page oh sorry we need to pass the first page number so I think we need to pass the first page number like this just pass the first because zero page doesn't exist 
Now if I refresh it, page dot get viewport is not a function. Let me just see the correct code. Page dot get viewport. Oh sorry, p is small here, so just make this change, and now you will see that the first page has been successfully rendered out. Now you can see in order to rotate this page, you can just pass a value here inside this get viewport. Let me pass 90 degrees so it will rotate this page 90 degrees like this. You can see that. If I pass here 180 degrees, so now it will turn this page 180 degree. If I pass here minus 180, and now it will rotate minus a 180 degree. So you can also rotate this page. So I can even change the page number to second page number. So it will be rendering out the second page number on the canvas. You can see that this is the second page in the canvas. So in this way guys you can just work with the pdf.js library inside the canvas. You can just print the pdf document in javascript. So thanks so much for watching this video.